Okay, thank you for uh, watching this video. This is 3.1 list sum. And this is another video that I didn't apparently make last term. So I'm gonna address this now. Um, if you hear my uh, baby talking in the background, I'm sorry, but I'm on baby duty. So he's sitting in my lap and he might contribute also to this video. So um, in this video, in this challenge, what they're wanting us to do is they're gonna pass us a list of numbers and then they want us to add all the numbers and output the result and <clears throat> so one of the things you got to think of is when you want to do something like this what type of a loop will you use to iterate through the list of numbers <clears throat> and so um, what I've decided to do is use a for loop so when creating a for loop you also have to think about what your output is going to look like. So for for this uh, output, what they want is they want a total <clears throat> of the numbers that they're passing through the list. So to start this program off or this code, what we're going to do is create that total variable. So we're going to say total equals zero and all we're doing is we're initializing the variable total and we're setting it at zero because we're going to add all the numbers that they give us and we have to start somewhere we're going to start with zero we don't want to change the uh, output by using any other number other than zero so we're always going to start this out uh, for with the uh, variable zero and then we're going to create the for loop and I'm going to just copy and paste because I've only got one hand free and this is going to take too long. So when creating this for loop, we're using the, the length function and basically this length function is just saying for the length of numbers, for whatever numbers they give us in that list, this length function is going to tell the program I want all of those numbers. So for this for loop, we're going to iterate through the whole range of numbers that they're going to give us. So that's why we're using this length function. <coughs> and <coughs> we're putting the numbers variable, which is the numbers variable that they're giving us for their list. So that's where that variable comes from. And then <coughs> The next line is where we're going to add the numbers that they give us. So what we're saying is total, that's our variable that we initiated. And then the plus equal just means go through each iteration of every number they give us in this list. So that's why we're using the, the bracket there and add each number together and then finally we just print the total so let me copy and paste that and go over here and check it and it should come back good and it does and that's how you solve the 3.1 list sum and uh, as always, uh, please subscribe to this uh, channel. Please like the videos. And uh, on another note, if anyone sees that I missed a uh, challenge, please send me an email and uh, I'll try to get a video up for those challenges that I miss. So just a, just a quick note. And thank you for watching.